Hi everybody, hope you're having a great weekend. Today I wanted to address an issue that a lot of people have been having with their iPhone 5s as well as people who have upgraded to iOS 6 with their existing devices and that is slow Wi-Fi. Although the Wi-Fi issue is one that Apple will ultimately have to resolve on the software side, there are three things that we can do right now to help make sure that our Wi-Fi is moving as fast as possible until then. The first thing you can do to make sure your Wi-Fi is running optimally is actually the easiest thing you can do, and that is to unplug the power on all of your network devices. So start with your cable or DSL modem, and then also unplug your wireless router. Leave those both unplugged for about 30 seconds, and then plug them both back in. They should both automatically connect, and your Wi-Fi should be reset. The second thing you can try is a little bit more tricky, however, it worked very well for me and it actually improved my Wi-Fi access on my iPhone 5 a great deal. And that is updating your DNS settings. Now, without getting too technical, your Wi-Fi device, or any device for that matter, looks to your DNS server to find out what actual IP address the URL you typed in is connected to. So, for example, say I were to type in www.apple.com, well, it would look to your DNS server to find out what IP address, what set of numbers actually equals www.apple.com and then it would point your browser or whatever other software you're using to that actual server. And so what we're going to do is change your default DNS server to a different DNS server, something used by Google. And so I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. So it's going to be very painless. So here's what we're going to do. Go into our home screen and choose the settings app. Now that we're in settings, you see that under Wi-Fi or next to Wi-Fi, it says Dharma. That's the network name that I'm connected to. So I'm going to choose Dharma and it's going to take me to my Wi-Fi options. This is where I can choose which Wi-Fi network I'm connected to. The check mark is next to the Wi-Fi network that I'm currently connected to. So I'm going to choose the right arrow here, the blue arrow pointing to the right, all the way on the right side, and that will take me into the network settings for Dharma. And you see here, about halfway down, next to DNS, it has the same address as my router. Basically what that means is it is pointing my device, this iPhone, to my router and my router is choosing what DNS server that it's connecting to. And again, I'm sorry to get too technical, but what we're going to do here is change the DNS settings. And so it's just as simple as tapping anywhere on this DNS address right now where it says 10.0.1.1. And don't worry if yours is something different, we're going to change it. So just tap anywhere there and it will allow us to go in and change the server address settings. And so I'm just going to delete everything that's there and enter in just all eights. It's 8.8.8.1.1. .8 .8 .1. And it's just that simple. And now I don't have to do anything else. I can just hit the Wi-Fi button here in the upper left hand corner to go back and my settings should be saved and you can go in you can choose the right arrow again and go back in and make sure that it's there and you see very clearly that it says DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 we're no longer using our providers DNS server settings and you should in many cases experience a much smoother faster web browsing experience if you were initially having problems with your iOS 6 or particularly your iPhone 5 internet connection over Wi-Fi. The last recommendation I'm going to make involves updating your Wi-Fi router's firmware. Without getting into too much detail, your firmware is the software inside your router that controls the device. From time to time, manufacturers will issue updates to the firmware to help keep the Wi-Fi router up to date with current networking standards. To update your router's firmware, you should visit your router manufacturer's website, go to their help or support section, find out what the most current firmware is and how to update it. 
Now, if you were using a Wi-Fi router created by Apple, in my case, an airport or an airport extreme, then you can update your Wi-Fi router's firmware on your iPhone or other iOS device. And I'm gonna walk through the steps on how to do that right now. And it's just a matter of first downloading the airport utility from the App Store if you do not already have the airport utility installed. After it's installed, going into the airport utility and looking up your network. So you see my network actually has two different devices. So from the internet, I'm connected via a wired connection to my Airport Extreme, which is called NRT. And then wirelessly, I'm extending my network to the device, which is an Airport Express, that is called KIX. And so in my case, I'll have to go and check both devices to make sure they're both using the most current firmware. And so it's just a matter of tapping each device. I'm gonna start with my Airport Extreme called NRT. Just tap the device once. And it brings me into this settings menu here. And you can see the third option down says version. And right now it says version 7.6.1. And so to confirm that this is the most current firmware, all I have to do is just select version and it will take me to the next screen and it says here this airport base station's firmware version 7.6.1 is up to date so this is telling me that i'm using the most up-to-date firmware and if i click here in older versions it will show me that there are other versions available and i'm going to go back and click the back button here because i don't need to install any of these other versions of the firmware the most recent firmware is generally the one that you want to have installed on your device. And so I've confirmed that 7.6.1 is installed and it is the most recent firmware, so I don't have to do anything. However, if you choose this option and find that you're not using the most current firmware, it will give you the option of installing the most current firmware. So I'm gonna hit the back button again and hit the back button once more because remember, I have to check my Airport Express as well. So now I'm gonna tap on KIX, my Airport Express. And you see here again, next to version, it says 7.6.1. I still want to tap on it and go further in because I wanna make sure that for this device, there's not some other firmware version that's specific to my Airport Express that may be a different version from my Airport Extreme. So anyway, it's just a good idea to tap version anyway and make sure that it gives you the message saying that it is up to date. So in this case, both of my devices are up to date, so there's nothing else to do. And I have confirmed that my firmware is up to date. Well, I hope at least one of these three recommendations helps improve the Wi-Fi connectivity of your iPhone 5 or other iOS 6 device. Ultimately, this is an issue that Apple should solve on their side, and I'm sure they're working hard to do so now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a message. Please like this video or subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Hope to see you next time. Bye.